Yo. Back at it again. 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo. Half case break number 10. I felt uh, deja vu. So, yeah. Players mess up. Things happen. Derek wants a Vientos Gold. Okay. Ooh, Sean. I like the way you said that. Let me hit my boy up. Good luck, everybody. Dude, Cleveland is like, what, six months away? It's in August. The Nationals in August. How far are you from uh, from Cleveland, uh, Sean? What it do, Kanko Man? What up, Fitzy? Oh, shit. How's everything with you, Kankles? Alright, let's uh, put some of these away. You know I like to pick them random style. Six to seven hours, that's not too bad. I mean, I guess you could uh, drive for a weekend and just kick it at some sleazy motel or something. I don't know. I've never been to Cleveland, so I'm kind of looking forward to the next national, really. Alrighty. Good luck, everybody. Well, Corey, I have some limited football in the store. I also have flawless baseball and immaculate football. I got dynasty baseball too. I mean, I got I got I got some stuff in the store. Yeah, I've never been to Cleveland. Never been to Ohio, period. I can only assume that there's gonna be a bunch of factories. I don't know. I, I kind of want to... Uh, I think they have the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame out there. Or something like that. Some, some kind of Hall of Fame. Wait, hold up. So the Pistons kept Andre Drummond? And I need to see exactly who's on that Pistons team. Because that Pistons team could be a problem. Andre German at the 5. Blake at the 4. Ooh. Who's their point guard? That's the question. Let's uh, get some gold for the peeps. Ish Smith is their point guard. He's a right. He's a right. Oh, Reggie. Reggie. Uh, Reggie Jackson's running point guard. I fucks with Reggie Jackson. Well, right now, Corey, we're doing a little uh, eBay action. Uh, but check out the stove, man. Check out the stove. And see if there's anything in there that uh, tickles your pickle. You know what I'm saying? Sitting in a hotel room bored as fuck. When you know, when I'm sitting in a hotel room bored as fuck, I usually just sit on my hands, wait for one of them to go numb, and then just masturbate furiously. I do that anyway, but uh, I digress. Dude, check out the Rip City cards. Get into some of that thing. Get some some of that stuff, man. All right. Now I, I keep forgetting this is eBay because I usually just really fly through this. But, you know, I don't want to ruffle any feathers. So I'm just going to go uno by uno on, on freaking everything. I agree. That, that's what I was saying, uh, Corey. 
Uh, I feel like offensively, he's going to give them, a, you know, buckets for sure. But defensively, it's a whole nother story. And Stan Van Gundy, he's, you know, he, he's cut from that heat cloth. He's scrappy. So, interesting to see what's going to happen there. You think the Pistons got worse? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think potent the potential is there. The potential is there. I, I like to be hopeful, though. I'm curious if the Heat are going to make any moves, man. Got a silver for Glenn Otto, Yankees. That's to four ninety nine. The refractors there. Autograph is for Blaine and Lau of the Twins. It's not the twin we wanted, but who knows? He can come out to play. Royce, come out to play. What's really gonna hurt the Pistons is Tobias Harris. That dude, that dude's having a solid season. man I feel like there's a little situation going on going on down there in LA because they're trying to trade everybody they're trying to trade uh, Blake they're trying to trade Andre you ain't lying Corey you ain't lying you ain't lying although Dion is out for the season but yeah when when Dion got in a heat uniform he became like like a whole different person. Like, I don't know what it was, and you got to give credit to Coach Spo. Coach Spo does not get nearly enough credit that, that he really deserves. I feel like he's the East Coast Popovich. I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm going to fuck how crazy that sounds. But to me, the Heat are the East Coast San Antonio Spurs. And Coach Spo... Is 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 a broke man's version of uh, Greg Popovich, and not even like a broke man's. He's solid. I really like Coach Coach uh, Coach Bo. Oh hell no! Brad Stevens hasn't even won a championship yet. Kristen Stewart of the Tigers Blue. That's uh, number two hundred. As soon as Brad Stevens wins a championship. Then we can put him in the conversation. Charlie Barnes of the Twins. When he could turn a team that was, I think they were down like, they were 16 or 18 games below 500 to come back and be even at 41 and 41, which no team in NBA history has done when, you know, when that coach accomplishes that, let me know. Brad Stevens is a hell of a coach, though. Don't get me wrong. Hell of a coach. Hell of a coach. But look at the talent he has. Compared to the talent that Coach Poe gets year in, year out. I think since he's been our coach, I think we've only been out of the playoffs like two or three seasons. And that's because of catastrophic injuries. Coach Spo, I ride for my boy Coach Spo. You a real one for recognizing uh, my boy Coach Spo, Corey. By the way, I'm just going to throw this out there, Corey. Uh, but do you watch wrestling? The reason I bring that up is because WrestleMania is going to be in New Orleans this year in March. And that may be hashtag lit. 
All right, we've made some requests. Where are the golds at? I want to know where the gold at. Because I want the gold. Well, here's some purple. Clark Schmidt of the Yankees. AJ Styles is probably my second favorite wrestler. I got to go with Braun Strowman right now. That's my boy right, dude. I want to go to Mania 2. I've never, I've already been to my first ever uh, event this year. Uh, that was a Tanner Hawk uh, Red Sox autograph for my visually impaired uh, for the Red Sox. But yeah, dude, I went to my first Monday Night Raw, my first ever WWE event this year, and I'm fucking hooked. That shit's so much fun. Am I getting more limited football? Dude, for at you. Check our website. I got another case in the store, bro. Oh, hell yeah. Kenny Omega is the shit. Did you see his fight that he had with Chris Jericho not too long ago? Uh, out there in New Japan? I think it's Wrestle Kingdom or whatever they call it. Dude, those Japanese dudes go hard at, at wrestling. Those guys don't dick around with wrestling. Like, that's some, like, you know, real life anime shit. But, like, in real life. I wonder if Kenny Omega's ever going to get, uh, head on over to to WWE. I heard he was, he was signed to WWE at one point, and then he got cut, and then he was like, well, fuck that. But shit, money talks, bullshit walks. I need to start watching more New Japan. That shit is lit. I really only watch like the pay-per-views and stuff. My boy's heavy on that. But I'm not going to lie. I, I got to stay loyal to my WWE. That and New Japan gets aired at like really weird times. You know, because they are in Japan. Morgan Cooper, Dodgers Purple. But yeah. WrestleMania this year is going to be nuts. Bobby Lashley, whatever happened to that guy? I remember Bobby Lashley being like the next big thing in 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 like SmackDown or whoever it was that he was signed with at the time. You know, they like to split the roster up. The Royal Rumble last night was pretty dope. I thought it was really cool how they brought some of the uh Oh, he was on TNA. I really, I really enjoyed the women's rest, uh, the women's Royal Rumble. I thought it was dope that they, you know, giving credit to that division. It's no longer like the bra and panty misogynistic bullshit. Which, don't get me wrong, I did enjoy as a boy. And if a girl comes out in bras and panties, I ain't gonna be mad. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, those girls wrestle their ass off, man. Like, res I got to give respect where it's due. And damn it, them girls can kick my ass any day of the week. And I'll let them, too. Actually, David, I do have some WWE cards. Uh, I, I can offer them personal style. I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure what's in there. I'll, I'll show you what I have. And then you let me know if you uh, if you if you like, dude. Tori Wilson is gorgeous. Kelly Kelly, gorgeous. Michelle McCool, she can wrestle her ass off still. Trish Stratus was still looking like a dime piece. Lita was still looking. F oh my god, yo! I it was a really good wrestle uh, like WrestleMania. It was a really good of uh, pay per view overall. Peter Solomon of the Astros Green. To 99. Uh, JJ Matijevic of the Astros Green. That's to 99. For the Blue Jays, Kevin Smith, the blue autograph. That's number two, uh, 70. 70th anniversary. Alright, that's the one box down. The fucking Marlins traded everybody in their mama. Oh, man. Derek Jeter, what are you doing? Cleaning house, for sure. Cleaning house. 
which I feel like the Dolphins should do too. David Beckham bringing a soccer team here to Miami. It's a lot of things. It's a lot of things going on around here. It's a lot of things going on, around. dude. They traded Yelich. They traded. By the way, thank you for. Uh, you guys didn't trade Keston. You guys traded uh, Lewis. Lewis Brinson. If I'm not mistaken, to the to the Marlins. Once upon a time, I heard he was decent. Once upon a time, I heard he was decent. I don't know if that remains the case, but we shall see. In, in Jeter, we trust. In the Jeter group, we trust. I have no other choice but to do so. Fucking traded Giancarlo. Traded Ozuna. We traded everybody. D. Gordon is gone. I bet Real Muto is going to be gone. I bet Boar is going to get gone. We had some solid players. We, we just desperately needed pitching. You know, I actually started watching the Marlins, like, really watching last year. We have a solid, solid team. Just didn't have pitching. Real Muto gone. God damn it. I like him. I like Justin Bohr. Well, I hear you, Derek. I hear you. I, I got to put my... Well, then again, that was Theo Epstein, dude. And Theo Epstein is is like the miracle, the, the golden boy of GMs. That dude won a championship for the Red Sox and the Cubs. That dude's, that dude's a god. Listen, I don't mind. My thing with the Marlins is I just want them to be competitive. I want them to be in the playoff mix, you know? We've only made the playoffs twice. And uh, and you know what happened each time. We won a championship. Which is a cool-ass stat. Cool-ass stat. But we've been in the league for like, I want to say 30-something years. And only two playoff appearances. Like, that's, that's fucking terrible. But I'm really going to be watching this year's uh, baseball dealings. I'm going to start I'm going to start off with some spring which is going to be coming up here soon. A little spring ball. What's up Schroeder? Welcome to the room. Uh, so if you just created an account, the code gets emailed to you. Uh, so check your email Schroeder. Check your email. See, see, you, you feel my pain, Sean. You feel my pain. No problem, Schroeder. By the way, uh, when you get that code, don't copy and paste it. Uh, type the code in. For some reason, when you copy and paste the code, it comes up as invalid. I'm thinking because maybe they put like an extra character in there by mistake in the copy and paste maneuver. Uh, but either way, type the code in just to be safe. And it should work, man. By the way, it, oh, also, needs to be a minimum purchase of 25 bucks. I should probably put that in, uh, in tiny, tiny, tiny writing there. Ooh, one of the Mavericks players having a little bit of a meltdown over there. Talking to uh, one of the fans. Get it together. You can't you can't stand the heat. Get the fuck out of the kitchen, boy. What do you think was going to happen? You're a professional ball player, dog. Those dudes paid thousands of dollars to just talk shit to you. Morgan Cooper of the Dodgers. Silver, that's number two four ninety nine. Gavin Sheets blue for the White Sox. What the hell was that about? Just tackling Whiteside like it's all good. 
I feel like the Heat get into get into get into, get into a lot of skirmishes. I wonder if there's like a statistic for that. Who leads the league in skirmishes on a yearly basis? Uh, Brett Nets or the Red Sox autograph? That's the second auto for the Red Sox. Need some Brewers love from a boy. Marlins fans, you know, I'll be honest though. And that's all I can ever be. Uh, Marlins fans and mostly Miami sports fans in general are pretty pretty much fair weather fans. You know, we don't support the team if they suck. But if they're producing and they're competing, you know, we, we go out there and we support and we show love. You know, we sell out the stadium and whatnot. But, yeah, but if we suck and if management is not making any efforts – to improve, we don't support the team. Like, the Marlins Stadium, we have one of, in my opinion, I think we have a really, really nice stadium. State of the art. Got all the all the fixings. But we don't have a team to, to like, put out there and showcase and, you know, and, like, really, really, like, sell out that stadium. I think that stadium's only been sold out, like, a few times. And that's, that's no way, you know. What's up, guy? When you have free time, buy Switch, buy Breath of the Wild. Well, uh, I've never happened in my life. I'm gonna need to sell some more brakes before I do that. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a little, been a little, little heavy right now. In this case, uh, I would like to uh, make it a little better. Hans Kraus of the Rangers, purple. To 250. That's why I'm curious to see what Jeter is going to do. Shane Baz with a silver auto for the Pirates. I think that was Derek Jeter's like little alley oop to the Yankees. Like, all right, I'm, I'm going to put you all over the top. Here you go. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you Stanton. This year should be fun. A lot of storylines. Got the little fiasco that's going out there in Atlanta. Got the bullshit here in Miami. Got the nonsense going on out there in New York with, with the cahoots. Yeah, they are gutting the Marlins, man. There you go, Shorter. Appreciate you. What'd you, what'd you get into? I'm, I'm curious. I could just check, but uh, you know, I I am putting in that 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 work right now. Limited, nice. What team you picked up? You picked up the the Vikings. So shorter. I can only assume that you're a Viking fan. Am I correct in assuming this? If so, I got I got a question. Is that some? No, I thought that was gold, but it's just a reflection of the light. What, okay, so if you are a Vikings fan, what the fuck happened against the Eagles, man? I really thought that game was going to be a lot closer. I really did. I thought that game was going to be nitty-gritty kind of deal. Campusano Padres to four ninety nine. Ooh. Well, you got it, Wax Packs. Let's see if we can get you a little, uh, what's it called? Penicillin or something. D.L. Hall Orioles. Auto right there. Oh, I see uh, Wisconsin standing up out there. Packers. That goes there. It's getting a little intense right now with the 
with this pack stacking. Where we got the silvers, the paper. That's what I'm saying, Shorter. You guys were solid defensively, and then Philadelphia came through and was like, yo. <laughs> You guys had, bro, you guys had an opportunity to, I think that, you think you guys would have been the oh, the first ever NFL team to play the Super Bowl in your own stadium? I might be wrong on that. Somebody got to fact check me on that. I'm probably wrong. But that would have been so cool, man, for the Vikings to play a Super Bowl, essentially home field advantage. That would have been sick. And who knows, man? Vikings might be back at it again next year. Hopefully, Teddy Bridgewater uh, is good enough to play. You're going to get Dalvin Cook back. That's a major, major uh, ball right there. Maybe add another receiver or two, you know, get some more weapons. And you could, you could be right in the thick of things again next year. I can't say the same for my Dolphins, unfortunately. Got Kyle Lewis of the Mariners. Blue. Keep Keenum and trade Teddy. Oof. Uh, I'll take a trade for I'll take a trade for Teddy. Nice, my this is my first red right here, and it's Zach Kirtley of the Cardinals. Nice. I had never pulled a red before. Numbered one out of five. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Especially with the cardinal colors. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. I want I want Kirk Cousins in a Dolphins uniform. But I'll trade. I'll, I'll trade for Teddy Bridgewater. I'll trade a you know like a fourth or a fifth round pick or two for him. Yeah, that card is probably gonna grade pretty decent. Corners look impeccable. Centering is pretty decent. On card auto. I think it'll grade at the very least a nine five. But what do I know? All right, let's continue. Hopefully that red is a sign of things to come. Maybe make things a little bit more hotter here. A little bit more better. I wish I had more Bowman Draft Baseball. Honestly, this stuff is sweet. But there are some cases... Bro, I've had some cases of this shit where it's fucking booty. And then I've had some cases where it's like, damn... Bro, I fucking hate Tannehill. Tannehill is garbage. With that being said, if we had Tannehill this year, we would have been way more competitive than we would have been with Smoke and Jake Cutler. Like, what? Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, I don't count. Whatever. I'm past. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm on to the next season. We got a next season, boys. Dolphins going to win the championship next season. Watch. Calling it. But Tannehill's garbage. You know, this. Th I feel like this is his last season to prove that he's a franchise quarterback in this league. Blue Canaan Smith for the Yankees. You know, he did get hurt for the season. Okay, blah, blah, whatever. But we got to draft the quarterback in the first round to put Tannehill on notice. Like, listen, bruh, you get it together or you don't and you're gone. Cole Brandon, autograph for the Red Sox right there. That's nice. Who's uh who's your favorite quarterback coming out of this draft? Clash Schroeder. I think we pick uh 13th or something like that. We pick like in the middle of the pack. 
But uh, I think we do have assets to move up in the uh, in the draft order there. All right, this is uh, the last box. Um, but I am running out of space. So I do need to put some of the stuff away. Give me a second to do that because this will be chaos if I don't. You beat the game? All right, I got you, Beans. I got you. I'm just, I'm just warming you up. I'm just warming you up. That's all. I'm lathering you up. You've been marinating in your own juices, and now it's time to uh, to harvest. Yo, seriously, Dallas Mavericks. Those are some ugly ass uniforms. They look like WNBA uniforms. <laughs> it's really bad. Darnold easily really I like uh, I like that kid out there from Oklahoma I like Mayfield I like Mayfield people are calling him like Johnny Manziel 2.0 okay I, I, I can understand but dang it I like his swag yeah I said it I like I like his swag Dennis Smith Jr. with the half-court shot just now. Holy crap. That kid's a stud. There's no doubt about that. That dude just drained that thing over like three Heat players like it was nothing. That kid's going to be a problem. Bro, he did that shit over Bloodsport and Whiteside. Holy fuck. In case you didn't know... James Johnson uh, is a professional, well, used to be a professional MMA fighter. I think he still fights professionally every now and then. But he is undefeated, and his nickname is Bloodsport. All his brothers and sisters, his mother and father, are black belts. So that is one dude you do not want to fuck with. With that, I say... This last box is going to be nothing to fuck with. Because it's going to be hot fire. Casting here, uh, come out to play. I'm down shorter. I gotta check the store. Which I'm actually curious. I'm gonna do that right now. I wanna see how many teams are left.
I would add them, but uh, that's not what the peeps paid for. They paid for uh, three boxes or a half case, and that's what they're gonna get. All right, so it looks like the Vikings are gone in limited. 23 teams left in limited, in limited. Let's uh, get that filled. I see what you did there, AC, A1, I mean Adam. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't do that. I, if I could, I would, trust me. I'm funny that way. All right, last box mojo. This dude is balancing things on his face. Like, this dude's about to balance a mountain bike on his face. And I'm supposed to find that entertaining. Where's the chick that's on the tricycle or on the monocycle, mind you, and she's, like, throwing plates on her face and catching them? Where's that chick at? That's impressive. This dude's balancing umbrellas and fucking hand carts on his, on his chin. All right, we need some color here for the peeps. This dude's about to balance a wheelbarrow on his face, really. Bro, you got too much time on your hands, dog. I'm going I'm going to balance this wheelbarrow on my face. Yeah, I am, Bertha. Watch me. Mason House of the Padres Silver. Cheerleaders are looking at him like, "Yeah, you got it, bro." <laughs> well, now he's going to balance a table. Okay. Okay. Lincoln Hensman of the White Sox, purple. All right, I'm not going to lie. That table is kind of impressive. That's a big-ass table. For the Mets, Quinn Brody. Hopefully impressive for the Mets with the autograph. No color on it, unfortunately. What else we got? Trust me, I would have been done with this thing like half an hour ago. But I do got to show like everything. Don't want to deal with that backlash. All right, four more boxes or four packs, I should say, to go. This dude's about to balance a ladder? No way. It's like a 12 foot ladder. And he's balancing it on his chin. Awesome. The latter one's that one's impressive. Just based on the sheer mass of that thing. Oh, you're gonna go for two ladders, okay. Go for it. How many of you guys go to a sporting event and, and during halftime, instead of going to the concession stands and, you know, getting your drinks or whatever, actually just stick around and watch, like, the halftime entertainment? Because that's what I'm doing right now. This dude, it, during the Heat Mavericks game halftime, Hagen Danner, it's a 49 for the Blue Jays, he's balancing shit on his face. At first it was funny. Now it's kind of impressive. Clark Schmidt of the Yankees auto. No color. What a color at? What a color at? This dude now is balancing a ladder while he's balancing himself on top of a ladder. That's like some Inception shit. He's on a ladder balancing... On that ladder, balancing another ladder on his face. Impressive. You, sir, deserve whatever they're paying you. Which is probably not much. 
All right, almost done with this thing. I need some color. I need some color. We need some color. Let's have it. Come on. Enough lollygagging. I believe so, Derek. Yes, we we do have a break coming up at ten o'clock after this. Uh, is it Chronicles basketball? I'm not sure. Let me check. Yes, Chronicles basketball is scheduled for ten o'clock, which is in about eighteen minutes or so. Could have sworn I saw some color, but that was likely just the reflection of the light on the card right there. So we got Cole Brandon, blue for the Red Sox. Will Benson of the Indians, blue. The Reds, Jeter Downs, purple auto. There you go. Some some color for the Reds. That's number 250. What else we got here? Paper to paper. Two Mopacs. Two Mo Autos. Maybe get a little hot pack. It's possible. Russell Westbrook got dunked on by Joel Embiid. Why are you doing that, Westbrook? Try to take the charge. What a fool. Two more autos. Need greatness. Charlie Barnes, twin silver. Well, we got us a plate. It is uh, Morgan Cooper of the Dodgers. Yellow plate. Sorry. All right. What else do we have? Hey, check that out. What is that? Another red? Wow. Two reds in this half. Austin Beck of the red. I'm sorry. Of the A's red. Number four out of five. Nice. That's a good one for the, uh, for the A's right there. That's a good one. That is a good one. Probably going to put that on the Insta Tweets. Two reds in, in a half case. Insane. Maybe some hotness in the other half. Who knows? Alright, let's see what's in this last pack. Uh, Pappy, what do you ask? Is there is there something you would like of me?
it should be already up on eBay, uh, Adam. I'll check uh, once I'm done going through this bad boy right quick. Auto, who's it going to? Well, Friday I'll be here. I'm probably gonna be here all week going into Sunday. Uh, technically, Sunday and Monday are gonna be my day off this week, but the issue is that Jason doesn't want to go live during the Super Bowl, and I frankly don't care. What the fuck? A blue Brendan McKay of the race. That is nice. That is nice. I don't have any more top loaders, but damn, that is nice. Sorry, Beans. And that is going to be the end of the break. Two refractors there. All right. So let's recap this thing. Sorry, Adam. We'll get you in the next one. All right, so let's recap this. So there was a Morgan Cooper yellow plate for the Dodgers. A purple, a purple, a purple Jeter Downs or the Reds. Clark Schmidt Yankees. Quinn Brody Mets. Cole Brandon, Red Sox, D.L. Hall, Orioles, Shane Bass, Pirates, Brett Netzer, Red Sox, Kevin Smith, Blue, Blue Jays, Nick Parado, Royals, Tanner Hawk, Red Sox, Silver, Charlie Barnes, Twins, Blaine and Lau, Twins, probably, that was probably the biggest card, and Austin Beck, Class of 2017, Red for the A's. Number four out of five, a Zach Kirtley red for the Cardinals. One out of five. And a blue Brendan McKay for the Rays, numbered 45 out of 150. Nasty. Very nice. And that, my friends, was the break. 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball. Super Jumbo Half Case Break number 10, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that right out to you.